It is July the 6th and we are out here in the garden. I'm going to show you a few high points. I'm going to keep this short because I want to be able to send the link to the people on my newsletter. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, go to theresasnyderauthor.com. Upper right hand corner is free books, it says, and if you click on that, you not only can download a free book, but you'll also sign up for my newsletter. So, you can see there's a hose laying out there. That's the reason because it's like 90 and 100 the last two days. So we've been doing a lot of watering, but I want to show you some really pretty things because July is the month to be in the garden. So let me get it out of my chair here and we'll walk over. I want to show you some really beautiful daylilies that are my favorites. Right over here. Aren't those lovely? And then right behind them, if we get around Tau here, are some Asiatic lilies that are just beautiful. I'm really happy with um, the combination of them and the reds that came out. And then if you'll notice, over the 4th of July weekend, I put in a whole bunch of solar lights because it got very dark out here. So you can see out there on either side of Emperor Ming there are some, and there's some around here in the orchard, but first we're going to stop off and we're going to look at the lovely plums. Look at those. They're almost, well, they are the size of a golf ball. And they will be ripening up and they're so juicy. They're a kind of Japanese plum. This area that used to have the cherry and the apple tree in it, there's the apple stump, which I've decided to make out a fairy house out of. I have all kinds of solar lights around it as you can see and then if we'll walk out here to the blueberries and you can see the grapes in the distance there a little bit of jiggling going on here because we're walking but look I'm going to have to get out here to pick blueberries is that wonderful or what and the grapes have gone crazy I need to get out there and trim them a little bit and the current over there is so heavy that its little head has gone downward. If we go this way, we're going to encounter some sunshine, but I'm going to turn it to the side here so we don't get it front on. But you're going to see some of the really lovely lilies that are here in my garden. I love them. This is a beautiful a peach color down in there. And then we've got a double here in the purple. That one back there, that yellow one is actually called a Theresa lily. And um, that's the reason I bought it. Grasses are all growing big and tall back there behind the pond. You can hear it. And the corkscrew willow has gone crazy, along with this little partner that I planted a couple of years back. Pond is bubbling away. Now we're going to turn around. This is the little area that we did the rock facing on a few years back and I put different kind of lilies out here underneath the tree underneath the uh, window. Let me see if I can get in on that one. Isn't that pretty? These are actually fragrant and they will rebloom and not only have them now but we'll have them again in the fall which will be really nice. The grasses, which was the Missouri red grass, has come back in its pots here. And we got a little bit of volunteer fever few along with this one. And if we proceed on over here, we're gonna hear the birds. We're gonna go underneath the wisteria, which is now all leafed out. You saw it before with all its blooms. And see, right there on the end, can you see those little blooms, it's going to bloom a second time. So this is very unusual and it means it's very, very happy. I got my bench put out here where I painted it last year and put it out and it has the mosaic at its feet here that we created, Geraldine and I. Seems to held up pretty well during the winter. I think we're going to be okay. We're still out in judgment on that one. But all of the things that I painted for the fence last year, 
held up really well considering we had three ice storms and snow. You can hear the little birds. And then this area here that we created and moved some of the crocosme away. And moving right along, we've got the really nice shade garden, which I also put some um, solar lights in it, all around the edge of it. And it is really very, very nice, considering that it doesn't get a whole lot of direct sunlight. But there's, there's some on either side here, and it lights it up really, really, really nicely. I'm going to take you into the Moroccan room for a minute here, because I redecorate. well, I didn't, yeah, I did. I redecorated it a little bit, and I also um, rearranged it. So, let's go in here. I have four ladies who work for me, young ladies who work for me, and they all wanted to come for tea. And so I had to rearrange this so I could get four people out here. So I put the chairs, one here, and they have new cushions, and one here, and one over there. And then I took that piece that I did for on top of the fire pit outdoors, remember? And I painted that half barrel green and it works lovely as a table. Then I didn't want us to be looking in to the living room and dining room, so I put up this nifty curtain and what it actually is is a shower curtain and I just frou-frouted it up. Leave it to me, right? Let me get away from it a little bit so you can see it. But we put the little rickrack on here and added a little ball with some, some glue. And then I painted the actual um, hooks. They have kind of a mesh look to them and I painted them purple. And then the rod has these cool endings on it that make it look really frou-frou, which is no. And then let me stand over here and give you kind of a view of it, see? So when somebody's sitting over in these chairs and they're not looking out at the garden because they're on the wrong side, they're looking at that curtain instead and the lovely little area here. And I have a whole bunch of these chairs, which are the dining room chairs, and I can throw covers over them and pull them up along this area here and I can have another three people sitting. So then I moved the couch actually in here and left one of the chairs and put the little footstool in here that I use as a table. So it turned out really nice I think. Well I was going to show you along the back here I had to brighten it up a little bit too. So I took these little voltage holders and I actually, let's see if I can get them to focus in there on it. Oh there you go. Um, I put some rickrack around them with some beads and I put those little fake candles in them that are run by batteries and so they're all along the back here and then also because I put the solar lights out there you can see the bird bath and the solar lights through the uh, corrugated plastic there and you can see that it gives a nice little ambiance in the evening along with the lights that were always overhead in here with all the drapery and things. So, my dears, that is our tour for July. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll give you one last view of the Moroccan room here. Let me back up. There you go. And I wish you well this summer. Stay cool and have a lovely time. Thanks for dropping by.